want an end to the profit at all costs mentality. Because if we don't build an economic future with people at the center in a sustainable frame where we are respectful of our planetary boundaries and the need to change our energy and technology systems to have a living planet for human beings. The world could fund it right now and yet 70% of the world's people have no social protection. That's respectful of public services and not simply trying to make profit off them. I believe it is very important uh, for countries to recognize that you know, these, there are some essential services that need to be provided in terms of healthcare, in terms of education, uh, in terms of good governance, in terms of social security, social safety, uh, that, you know, cannot be compromised on. This is a virus that, that doesn't respect borders. It crosses borders and as long as it, it is in full strength in any part of the world, it's affecting everybody else. So this requires uh, global cooperation to, be, to deal with it countries they have to find ways of raising revenues and uh, you know progressive taxation could be one form of it we talked about solidarity tax that may be needed in some countries nature strikes in ways that we cannot imagine and we've seen one and climate change is you know can will be could be even worse uh, and so we have to prepare for that but the question is how do we get a much more pl a planet friendly way of doing economic activity. What is needed, of course, is to ramp up production of alternative forms of, uh, uh, of uh, energy. Second, to have uh, infrastructure that's much more climate friendly. And in both these measures, the public sector can play a very big role. We set up a, um, a new world order after World War II. We're now in a different world than we were then. What can we be doing differently? And the World Economic Forum, I think, has a big responsibility in that as well, um, to be re pushing the reset button and looking at how to create well-being for people and for, and for the Earth. I think the key is to put the, the health of people and the planet first. And that's what's happening on COVID-19. And that's what has not yet happened on climate change in many cases, because the you know the fossil fuel interests and the large industrial farming interests they want to keep things the way that they are there's big vested interests that want their health to come before people's health and the planet's health and what we're learning from this crisis and pandemic is it is possible to switch it